of Pennsylvania, weighing 153 pounds, with a professional record of 33, 10 and 1, with 25 KOs, the WBA number one ranked contender, and the former IBF junior middleweight champion of the world, Buster the Demon Drayton. And the champion in the blue corner, fighting out of St. Thomas in the Virgin Islands, weighing 153 pounds, with a record of 34 and 1, 32 by KO. Ladies and gentlemen, the WBA junior middleweight champion of the world, Julian Jackson, 12 rounds. Julian Jackson from the Virgin Islands, city of St. Thomas, and Buster Drayton from nearby Philadelphia, the combatants, and the referee Tony Perez will bring them to the center of the ring for final instructions. Perez now living in Barnegat, New Jersey. The judges are Eva Shane from Lodi, New Jersey. Denny Nelson from Redford, Michigan. Robert Watson from Maplewood, Minnesota. A quick look at the tail of the tape. 35-year-old Buster Drayton. Age could be a factor in any fight for Drayton. So far, it has not affected his performance. He came in at 153. Jackson likewise at 153. And you can see... A one-inch height advantage to the champion, Jackson. And a wild right-hand opener from the champion, Jackson, going for the home run ball on his first punch. But Drayton ready for it. Champion Jackson in gold. Buster Drayton in black trunks with red trim. No question that Drayton's been in there with the tougher guys. He's lost to some of them, but he does have victories over the likes of Dwayne Thomas, Clint Jackson, Mark Kaler and Davey Moore. Whereas for Jackson, as we mentioned, really the only uh, semi-name fighter that uh, he has a victory over is Curtis Ramsey. In his biggest fight, he lost to Mike McCallum, trying for the same title when McCallum was the champion. Good body shot from Jackson. Banging with a right hand to the midsection. And again. Tim Jackson fights strictly by the book. Does everything exactly the way he's supposed to. <laughs> Drayton fights uh, by his own book, I guess you call it. He's liable to do anything in there. Well, we know that uh, in the loss to Matthew Hilton, when he lost his IBF title to the Canadian, uh, 15 rounds of grueling action took a lot of punishment, and he went the distance. So he's a guy who can take a lot of shots, but for how long and the effect over his long career, it's hard to say. That's part of the mystery of this bout. Well, he's been down early a couple of times in previous fights, and that's why it's so important to watch these first two rounds. Jackson has had the better of this first round so far. He's feeding those body punches into Drayton. Pretty good. Drayton finally landed one of his own. A good shot to the side of Jackson. And he lands a left hook to the head. Jackson continuing to pound with both hands to the body. Number In the last exchange, they both were taking them with the arms and elbows. Under the 32nd mark, under the 20 we go here in round one. Final seconds of the first round. Number 12. WBA junior middleweight title at stake. The champion in gold, Julian Jackson, his first defense against the former IBF champion at this weight, Buster Drayton. Tim, you know, this fight may boil down to not who's the better pitcher, but who's the better catcher. They have held nothing back so far in that first round. Heavy punching by both boxers. Jackson does everything by the book. Jab, double jab, goes to the body, goes back up to the head. And 
Drayton does what he just did, leaping in right. <laughs> with one big bomb that nearly which, caught the chance. Which is the south boy. You never know which, which direction he's coming at you from. Good work inside by the champion Jackson, snapping back the head of Drayton. Landed an overhand right to the back of Drayton. There you, there you see. There goes a right hand. Drayton down. Flash knockdown. Drayton, it looked to me, Gil, was actually pulling out at the moment he took the punch, so he was helping the impact. He was off balance, Tim. He pulled back his left foot, which is a no-no, but again, Drayton does a lot of no-nos. He got up smiling, but Jackson pressing the advantage now. And going to the body. Now up to the head. Drayton willing to trade, looks a little wobbly leg, standing there and pounding. Jackson trying to find an opening now. Good looking fighter, Jackson, but he better not forget defense, Tim. Uppercut to the point of the chin, under a minute to go, round two. with three shots of his own. Wild roundhouse punches, but he scored three of them. Well, you have to be very, very careful when you're fighting Buster Drayton. Beautiful combination by Jackson. Under the 32nd mark in round two. Both fighters missing in that exchange. Now Drayton lands a left uppercut. throwing as we finish round number two. But at the end of that round, Gil, he looked like the stronger guy and he was really looking right into Jackson's eyes and saying, hey, now I'm ready, you woke me up. Tim, that's why when you fight Buster Drayton, you gotta remember that he can always hit you back. The best thing to do is keep your hands up, box, try to put those rounds in the bank. He couldn't wait to get off the stool to start round number three. Drayton in black, the champion in gold, Julian Jackson from St. Thomas, the Virgin Islands, Drayton from Philadelphia. He's been throwing bombs from the opening bell. That Jackson throws vicious punches to the body. Jackson making his first title defense. Drayton has been in four world title bouts. 1986, he won the IBF crown from Carlos Santos in tough 15 rounds, defended it twice, and then lost in 15 to Matthew Hilton. There's one of those swings of Drayton that you have to be careful of, Tim. It air conditions the house, but if it landed, watch out. Come from any angle. Double the jab, keep your hands up at all times. You got a right hand lead and paid for it, uh, Gil, so I didn't hear your instructions. Get back to him, get back to him. Drayton himself uh, knows he's an unorthodox fighter, doesn't bother him. He said that bothers the other guy. Under a minute to go, round three. Heavy punch of the body by Jackson, the champion. Jackson throws beautiful combinations, Tim. He sure does know how to punch to that body, which could bother a 35-year-old guy. A lot. Yeah. Under the 32nd mark we go. Tremendously grueling rounds he's been. Punishment great is taking Tim. Big round for Jackson here this last 30 seconds particularly. And Drayton is still firing back. Oh, a big He's left. In. Oh, a tremendous left, left hand. Hook, Tim. Great right on like the a three. Oh. Drayton 
drop like a tree. And he is not going to make it up. That's all over. He's trying desperately. Buster Drayton, gamely trying to get up with a huge left hand for Julian Jackson, a third-round knockout in his first defense of the WBA junior middleweight crown. And, Tim, what an exciting fighter this Julian Jackson is. He lets it all hang out. Those beautiful combinations. Drayton tried to get up from that. You don't too often see a boxer knock down the way he was. It looked like somebody had just felled a huge, giant redwood tree. Well, Tim, Tim, all those body shots took care of the body shots, body shots, then that big left hook to the chin. There you see Drayton saying, hey, I'm all right. Let's go back and see it again. A straight, good, solid left hook. Now Jackson is pointing at the camera and say, okay, good night. at Jackson's right hand, Tim, telling him where to fall. Fortunately for Buster Drayton, and I watched very carefully from our eye level of ringside, it may have appeared that he banged his head on the ring, but actually he did not. He instinctively lifted his head, took the impact with his shoulders, and so apparently he is all right. We certainly hope so. We'll be back live in Atlantic City in a moment. Two minutes and 57 seconds of the third round the winner and still the WBA junior middleweight champion of the world, Julian Jackson. All right, we're with the champion, Julian Jackson, and uh, who's your supporter here? This is my little son, uh, Julian Jackson Jr. All right, Julian Jackson Jr. All the way from the Virgin Islands. I don't think he knows exactly what happened, but he knows something good happened here All today right. for Daddy. Julian, a big thing with you was... Uh, recognizing the fact that as a champion you weren't really very well known you haven't had a lot of exposure on national television and your only real name opponent prior to this one was Mike McCallum did that bother you and did you want to really be impressive today oh yes man uh, it didn't bother me but I knew I had to be impressive today I knew that Buster Drayton was a strong opponent and um, I trained very hard for this guy I didn't take him for granted I wanted to know I love him and we are brothers in Jesus' name, man. Come on in here, Buster. Come on in here. All right. Uh, Buster, I'm glad you're all right. You really you went down like a tree, I said, but uh, I noticed that you didn't bang your head. You, you instinctively got your head up. You had had a flash knockdown uh, earlier in, in the fight. Uh, what happened on the big left hook? Let's take a look at the knockdown. Oh, well, um, I, 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 knew, I knew he liked to throw the left hook, but I was so... Uh, Relax, you know, like with Matthew Hook, you know, I got to have it being relaxed, you know. Hey, but you know what I like to say? I like to tell all the little kids that don't be disappointed at me because I gave them all in all. Hey, look. Well, here's the knockout punch. Julian, that was a good, clean left hook. Uh, yes, uh, we know that Buster Drayton was looking for the, the right hand. And uh, a lot of fighters don't know that. I have, both, I have power in both hands. Well, Buster knows it now, but he's already shown what a great sport he is. Uh, to have you two guys I here together, it, well, it's, it's always a good example of boxing sports. Man, I got no excuses or nothing like that there. The man got me, you know, just like if I would have caught him, you know, it would have been right. the same thing. Yeah, no well, you nearly did, too. Thanks, Buster. Okay. Julian Jackson. Before I go, you know, I'd like to say hi to all my folks home, uh, my friends in, in uh, the Virgin Island boat, St. Thomas, St. Quentin, St. John. I would like to meet the, the current champion, Donald Corey, or... Uh, Matthew Hilton, any one of them. All right. on and bring all of them. Get in line because Julian Jackson is ready and I'm ready to, to, to put St. Thomas, Virgin Islands, St. Croix.